So David Tennant isn't the only one returning to Doctor Who for the 60th anniversary specials. Of course, alongside him, we have Catherine Tate back as Donna Noble. And there's been a bit of speculation about what Donna's setup might be, you know, why she is these days in her life and, and in the world and stuff. And we know that her mum, Sylvia, is going to be back. We know her husband, Sean, is going to be back as well, and also her granddad, Wilf. And it was recently confirmed that, as rumoured, and as we basically all knew by this point, Yannin Finney is playing Rose Noble, her daughter. So clearly Donna is now a mother, and it'll be interesting to see how sort of that affects her character as well. But the big thing that people tend to talk about with Donna is obviously the fact that when we left her, and when the show left her, and the Doctor left her, at the end of Journey's End, and then also at the end of End of Time Part 2, uh, there was this very, very clear thing that, you know, Donna couldn't remember her memories of the Doctor and of her adventures in the TARDIS. So her mind was wiped at the end of Journey's End, and she's returned home to a normal life. And then obviously in the end of time, we briefly saw her kind of uh, have some of those memories awakened and, and have some of that return to her. Fortunately, on that occasion, the Doctor had left her with this built-in sort of self-defense mechanism, which enabled her to knock out all of those masters and basically sort of reset herself, knock herself out, and then wake up once everything was over and return to that state of bliss. But of course, now the question is, you know, how can Donna come back? How can she come back into contact with the Doctor and all these new aliens and things like Beep the Meep and the Wrath Warriors? You know, clearly she is going to come back into contact with the Doctor's world and those memories are presumably going to have to resurface. And there's been some speculation and discussion about what this might mean for Donna kind of going forward and whether this might indeed be the end of her story, you know, whether... Donna is doomed whether she's going to die. And that's what I'm going to discuss in today's video. So Donna's fate and you know how she might be able to remember the, these memories and whether that will spell the end for her or whether there's maybe a way forward where she can regain those memories and still stay alive after the events of the 60th. So obviously we have heard those lines of dialogue in the trailers, you know, stuff like, if she ever remembers me, she will die. All these kind of lines of dialogue hinting about Donna's situation and kind of, yeah, what will happen if she does remember the Doctor. That certainly seems to be the thrust, the kind of dramatic thrust of the specials, or at least one of the kind of the running threads through them. And it will be interesting to see how they handle that, because like I say, you know, clearly in the first special, she is going to come back into contact with the Doctor. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how long they kind of play around with the idea for, because obviously we have seen that initial meeting between them, hinted at, and in filming photos and stuff, in Camden Market from quite near to the start of the episode. And then in the trailers we have stuff like Sylvia trying to hide him behind her, the skinny man thing where the Doctor has, for whatever reason, he's come to Donna's house. Uh, maybe he's, I don't know, met Yasmin Finney's character Rose and he's come back and not realised that Donna is her mum or something like that. And it's interesting to note that in the trailers we haven't seen too much of the Doctor and Donna you know, together in the same shots or in the same location. We've seen one or two shots, one or two images, including a recently released one where they're kind of sort of hugging each other or whatever in this mysterious dark void. We've seen them together running towards a building and also inside some kind of space as well, what would appear to be the Mr. Emporium shop or workshop, the toy maker's workshop, presumably. We've also seen them together in what appear to be Beep the Meep's spaceship, and then most intriguingly of all, in this mysterious location, which is one of the locations where the second special, Wild Blue Yonder, is set. And the Doctor says something like, I'm sorry, Donna, or something along those lines. So obviously at some point, you know, they are going to have to be reunited and Donna is presumably going to have to remember the Doctor. Um, I think that maybe they, they'll play on that for a little bit and kind of have her sort of half remembering or kind of they'll have the Doctor presenting himself as a new character. And maybe there'll be a sort of thing like we get in Husbands River Song where, you know, Donna doesn't realise who the Doctor is and she's sort of half remembering, sort of sort of remembering and then she kind of reaches the point where she goes, oh my God, yeah, it's you, you're the Doctor, aren't you? And I think it's what happens at that point, which is a kind of the interesting thing here, you know, so is there going to be some sort of mechanism, some sort of uh, loophole that allows Donna to remember the Doctor without having any sort of ill effects? Um, I think that would be a, a safe bet to assume that there's something that happens there, you know, whether it's the work of Neil Patrick Harris's villain or perhaps something to do with units, because there is a shot of Donna 
in what appeared to be the unit headquarters, where she's sort of, she's there, but she looks a bit kind of spooked or scared, or like she's not quite meant to be there, that kind of thing, um, which kind of gives me the vibe that, you know, maybe the Doctor has taken her there to implement some sort of medical thing or some bit of technology which allows her to temporarily remember him. Because that's something to think about as well, you know, so is Donna going to be able to remember the Doctor full stop? Or is it just going to be something which lasts, you know, for a finite amount of time, you know, where he kind of, he comes up with this loophole, but it only lasts for like 24 hours or something, or for a couple of days, and then after that, Donna will return to, you know, the Donna that she was before, where she has no memory of the Doctor and just continue her life as normal. Or conversely, you know, perhaps there will be some way for Donna to retain those memories, which I think would be the most hopeful kind of ending for her as a character, a chance for RTD to sort of go back on the ending he originally devised for her and give her a bit of a happier ending. And I think because so many people love Donna, I think that's fairly likely that that'll happen, you know. Um, but there is also the possibility, of course, that, you know, the Doctor's words will come true and that she will die. And as far as that sort of side of thing goes, the, the kind of possibility of Donna dying, you know, the way I see it is that, okay, maybe, you know, she might die, quote unquote. But we've seen this lots before in Doctor Who, like, for example, you know, in Army of Ghosts and Doomsday, where at the start of that story, you know, Rose goes, this is the day I died. And obviously we get to the end of that story, and that's not quite what happens. She doesn't actually die. Or even with Journey's End of Stolen Earth as well, the same sort of thing with Donna Khan's kind of going, you know, one of your companions will die, Doctor. And then it ends up being Donna, but she doesn't actually die. She just like metaphorically dies. She loses her memories, and that's what kind of constitutes death. So sort of along those lines, I'm kind of thinking that at some point, you know, maybe sometime in Special One, or maybe towards the end of that special, you know, maybe that's the cliffhanger for Special One, where Donna sort of fully remembers the Doctor, and it looks like she's going to die, and she's kind of in this moment of peril where it's like, oh my god, what are we going to do? And then maybe the Doctor kind of comes up with something in the moment, you know, on the fly, that allows Donna to remember, uh, probably kind of temporarily, I don't quite know how that would work, but something, some sort of short-term solution, but maybe that's what propels us into this mysterious second episode, the second special Wild Blue Yonder. You know, maybe that space where we see the Doctor and Donna in that story, in the trailer and in the photos and stuff, you know, maybe when he's saying, I'm sorry, Donna, it's because he's having to do something to Donna or kind of he's working to kind of save her life or something. You know, maybe that's it. Maybe she kind of, she dies, so to speak. But then he has this chance to kind of, to save her. And that's what Special 2 is all about. Maybe it's like going deep into the center of Donna's mind or some other strange, mysterious location where the Doctor has to go to save his best friend. And again, you know, maybe he's able to come up with some sort of short-term solution there in the moment. But uh, yeah, sort of by the end of Special 3, he's able to kind of fix up something a bit more permanent, which allows Donna to retain her memories without this constant threat of, of death and of remembering him and all that kind of stuff. Because like I say, you know, I think RTD, uh, he does kind of tend to favour sort of happier endings, I suppose. Well, I'm saying that. Uh, but yeah, I, I think, you know, kind of this chance to go back to this character, he's not going to leave things on, on a downer or kind of leave Donna in a worse situation than the one she was in when we last saw her. I think it will be a more hopeful ending. I think as well it'll be an ending that perhaps kind of enables Donna to return in the future, which kind of leaves the door open for her to return, for her family to return, obviously now minus Wilf, sadly, but also, you know, Yakin Finney's character Rose, it allows her to return at some point in the future because it would be a shame if that was it for Rose, you know, if we had to kind of close the book on her and the noble family as a whole after these three stories and kind of return to that status quo of Donna not being able to remember. So yes, in summary, you know, I do think there will be some kind of workaround for Donna to retain her memories, but I don't think it'll be an easy journey. I think there'll be some kind of struggle along the way, some some strange things that happen to Donna, perhaps, maybe like a metaphorical death or some danger that she's put in, some peril, but by the end, everything will be relatively okay. Those are my thoughts on Donna, on her fate, on whether she might die or not. But what do you think about all of this? Do you think Donna will die? Do you think she's doomed? Or do you think she will live to fight another day and she will be able to continue remembering the Doctor after she's met him again? Whatever the case, please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Please like this video if you have enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you're new for more stuff like this in the future, especially as we get closer to the anniversary and hopefully this hypothetical trailer at the weekend. But otherwise, until the next one, thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now.